Check this guy out. This is the biggest shad I've ever seen. That's insane. Here we go. Come on. Down, down, down. Nice. It's got a uh, little um, oh, split shot under the bobber with a bass minnow. Haven't seen any action. At least this guy took the bait. I wonder if I can get him up. There we go. It's a lot more fun and scary on a uh, small rod and light line. I figured the first decent fish I caught would have destroyed this little hook. I think it's a number four. It's basically like a crappie hook with a long shank. All right, today I am actually keeping the fish. I'm gonna do a fish fry. I've been saying I was gonna do one for two months now. But I'm actually gonna do it today. I'm gonna stay out here until I catch a few. Oh crap, about lost my pole. Ah. Guessing it's a catfish, but I really can't tell. He's staying down at the bottom. Yeah, decent little channel cat. Just started raining. I was just getting ready to go walk to the uh, car. Okay, the first one uh, didn't go very well, so I'll probably just start right here ended up only catching these two little channel cats and uh, I'm gonna I decided I'm gonna try the uh, catfish cakes recipe that I saw on uh, cats and carp it looked like it was would be something different to do and look like it'd still be pretty good make like a little po' boy sandwich went to uh, Kroger's and bought all my supplies So that I can make this. I've never made it before. And that uh, video Cats and Carp did was actually, it looked delicious. So, and that, yeah, I think he was doing that with saltwater uh, hardhead catfish. So this should be pretty much the same thing. All right, that's my uh, crappy job of filleting. I need to sharp my knife better so you see how much there is in the bowl. But a, kind of a silly thing I, I guess, learned from uh, Luke's video in Cats and Carp is to take just a, a normal spoon and slide it down through there and scrape off all that extra meat and man when he was done he had all, all kinds of extra meat and it was just completely boneless I don't know why I never did that I guess I wasted a lot of meat here is my uh, catfish fillets just rinsing them out one more time I was just watching uh, Luke's video again, trying to <laughs> get the ingredients down. All right, I'm pretty sure this is for mashed potatoes, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna grind up this fish meat. Yeah, this might not work. Yeah, no, it seems to be working. I'm just gonna have to get a fork or knife and clean it all over here. We'll go ahead and add Yeah. The mayonnaise. He said a liberal amount of yellow mustard. 
I'm really worried about if this is going to taste any good. Okay. And some old bay. Old bay seasoning. Alright, gonna have all the onions mixed in. I'm hoping I can get the consistency good enough to make a patty. It's starting to form up a little bit better now. Hopefully this turns out alright. I'll come back in just a second once I've got the uh, patties made up. Okay, here's the formed patties. I think his recipe uses a little too much onions. Um, seems like they're going to be pretty chunky, but we'll see. Hopefully they can cook up in there good enough that it won't be real hard to bite into all the onions. Alright, let's uh, give this a taste test. Give an honest review here. too oniony but it's really really good I'll definitely make that again and learn from my mistakes mm -hmm. yeah that'll be made good all right hope everybody enjoys <laughs>